Hey guys, today we're going to talk about reflection and refraction. Let's talk about reflection first. Reflection is the bouncing of light. I illustrate this with this example. I've drawn a mirror on this side. We know that light travels in straight lines. When it travels in a straight line and comes in contact with the mirror, it bounces back in a different direction. Much like a basketball player bounces a ball to a teammate, the ball bounce or the the light bounces off the mirror and then bounces back in an opposite direction. So when I set up the mirrors, I can actually bounce the light from this mirror to this mirror onto this piece of construction paper. Let's watch. As you can see, the light is showing up on this side of the construction paper, even though it originates or comes from this flashlight. So the light is coming in contact with this mirror, it's bouncing off this mirror, going to this mirror, and then bouncing off this mirror to here. Another way of looking at it is if I use this laser pointer, you might be able to see it better. If I shine the laser pointer on the mirror, as you can see, it shines on, on the uh, construction paper. Now let's talk about refraction. Refraction is the bending of light. In this example I have a lens. When light comes in contact with the lens it, it passes through but what happens is because of the shape of the lens when light passes through it gets bent in different directions so rather than passing straight through all the way certain light will pass through and will bend into a different direction. So for example the, the light ray on top will come in parallel or perpendicular to the lens and will be bent and come off this direction. Same thing with the one on the bottom, it will come in perpendicular to the lens and will bend going down. So refraction is the bending of light. Another example to illustrate that is the, the classic uh, material in water. Water, uh, when light comes in contact with water, it, it does the same thing, it bends it. So for example, I have a, a metal thermometer here. As you can see, it's nice and straight. When I place it in the water, watch what happens. Now as you can see, it appears that the thermometer is bent or almost separated, broken in half, when in reality, when I take it out, it's not. What's happening is light is coming in contact with the water. When it enters the water, the water actually bends it, making it look like there's two separated pieces on this thermometer. Now refraction is interesting because we can use refraction every, in everyday items like this hand lens or magnifying glass to be able to see things or to magnify and make larger items by bending the light. We can do that. Hand lens is a good example. Telescopes, binoculars, microscopes all use lenses that bend the light, making it uh, easier to see things uh, that are small or farther away, much closer to us. So, in summary, two things about light that you guys need to understand is reflection and refraction. Reflection, remember, is the bouncing of light, and refraction is the bending of light. Hey guys, I almost forgot something. Real quick, when we bend light through refraction, it can happen one of two ways by using a lens or a mirror or something. Two things you need to remember, convex and concave. Material that is convex is shaped like this. It bulges out, almost like a bubble. Material that's concave curves inward. Think about a, a cave, how a cave is carved into the rock. Don't forget, convex and concave. 